Hi there, Internet. I'm Polar the Polar Bear, and this is my girlfriend, <laughs> Melissa. Hello. Trying to get Lenny out of our food. <laughs> um, today we are trying the McCafe, uh, it's an eggnog shake from McDonald's. Yep. So yeah, we got it at McDonald's. Uh, this is a small size, and it was two seventy. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nutrition info on this little fella here: uh, four hundred and seventy calories, uh, eleven grams of fat, seven grams of saturated, one gram of trans fat. Which surprising to see trans fat in a shake. I don't it's know. McDonald's. That's weird. We were talking on the way home that this shake would probably survive the Sahara. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, because McDonald's ice cream has this weird quality where it doesn't melt. Um, but yeah, uh, 45 milligrams of cholesterol. Considering it's McDonald's, it's probably bad cholesterol. <laughs> 160 milligrams of sodium because, you know, salt is integral to any shake. Uh, of course. 81 grams of carbs wow. in this thing. Super, super carby. So, I mean, this is basically like a loaf of bread. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, 70 grams of which is sugar. Wow. Um, and we have 10 grams of protein. So don't drink this. No. That's the gist. Yeah, <laughs> don't no. do this Don't yourself. drink this. Though it does have 40% of your daily intake of calcium in it. <laughs> so good and 15 percent of your daily intake of vitamin a for a person eating a 2000 calorie diet because we all know that everyone's keeping to that 2000 <laughs> calorie diet so uh all right let me they they put a strawberry in here but it's slowly sunk beneath oh, cherry right cherry i said <laughs> strawberry sorry we're both hungry we are Cat. Is it hard to come out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> tastes like eggnog. Doesn't actually taste like a shake. It just tastes like you're drinking eggnog, and I like eggnog. Mm. Yep. Oh my god, that's tastes, good. Tastes like eggnog. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, that was delicious, and... It tastes like eggnog. I mean, there's nothing else I can say. Clearly, it's terrible for you, and you should never drink it. But it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's quite tasty. As Melissa said, it might kill you, but it it tastes like there's eggnog. And probably zero eggnog in there, actually. Right. But it tastes like it. <laughs> it. For those of you who like eggnog, you'll like it. For those of you who hate eggnog because eggnog's very polarizing I, I don't know anybody who's ever had eggnog and gone like yeah that's all right it's either yeah. like oh my god this is amazing or oh <laughs> so if you like eggnog you'll like that if you don't like eggnog you won't like it because yeah, it's 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 that's, eggnog that's accurate <laughs> so yeah um i like this i for taste i would recommend it but just in all good conscience like knowing where it comes from and what it is made of don't do i don't it. recommend it uh, but i would say it's really good you know if you're like going out looking at christmas lights and you want to share one with your significant other like a small one you know you probably won't die maybe you um, might not die but yeah it's delicious though it tastes like eggnog if you like eggnog and you want to try it knowing all the info we told you then i would say go get it um, and I would give this for flavor, I think an eight out of 10. Um, it's really good. It tastes delicious. Um, you know, obviously if I'm taking into account the other things, my rating would go lower, but this really shouldn't turn into my tirade on McDonald's. So right. <laughs> I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 and say, you're, you've been informed in this video. So, you know, go, <laughs> drink, go get drink, it at your own risk. Drink at your own risk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I, uh. It's a little more expensive than I feel it should be, which is why I'm going to give it a 7 instead of an 8. Although it's quite rich and dense, so... It is. Yeah, but I, I, I can see what you mean. I do I do recommend it uh, on taste, but again, I don't recommend it on point of origin, because <laughs> especially after reading all the like nutrition facts, probably don't go get one of these. If you like yeah. eggnog, just go get eggnog. Just go get a carton of eggnog. I think you could even make your own because it's probably just eggnog and ice cream. You could even get an eggnog ice cream at the store. Eggnog, ice cream, and some part of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> just make your own. I would say make your own. Yeah. Um, Add some alcohol to it and 
We did that one year. <laughs> Made spike the eggnog. We did. Mm. Yeah. So. So, so yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so don't really go get it. We're not saying go get it, but, no. you know, for what we, it's worth, we, we are both saying, enjoyed it. Yeah, we both liked it, but we're going to have some interesting times later, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us on another episode of Fast Foof. I hope I introduced this as Fast Foof. I think you did. If he hasn't, just excuse him. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Bye.